two top 10 teams we'll have for you tonight, Rams in Pleasant Valley, and just outside the top 10 uh, in B.B. Comer's classification, the Tigers, and Coach Fawcett joined us this morning, and uh, you're getting some votes in that top yeah. 10. That's a good thing to have. Yeah, no doubt. Gar garnering a little, uh, <coughs> little respect, a little attention, and uh, you know, I, I kind of use that as motivation for our guys as, as far as the polls go. We talked about it yesterday that, uh, you know, we're, we're on the outside looking in. We, we've done some great things, but uh, based on sports writers' views and things like that, we're not good enough to be a, a top 10 team. So I uh, kind of use that as, as fuel for the fire and, uh, you know, as motivation, and uh, they, they, they understand. 51 to nothing, B.B. Comer over Vincent last Friday night. And man, you ringing up the points offensively. Um, we, we probably put together the best complete game we've played all, all season. You know, we've, uh, we've discussed uh, the, the dynamics that, that we have with Rafael and, and Devontae uh, running the ball and Chris Garrett running the ball. Uh, but we were, um, we, we found that passing game that we've been looking for. So. We threw for about 150 yards. Uh, we rushed for over 300 yards. Uh, I don't, uh, exact numbers, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, it was over 450 yards of total offense that we, that we put up um, Friday night. So, uh, you know, for us to be able to find that, that passing game and to be able to connect on that and build some confidence throwing the ball, uh, will definitely help us out going into this week. Well, it sounds like the offense is uh, is on a roll right now, putting up a lot of points this season. Defensively, you, you throw a shutout. Yeah, our, our first <coughs> shutout of the season, first shutout for, for Coach Hale, my uh, defense coordinator. Uh, so, you know, that was a big uh, a big thing, big celebration for us is, is getting that shutout. The kids, you know, the, the challenge is to, to get that, to, to keep that goose egg and, uh, you know, against Fayetteville, that was our goal, and, and they scored late. Uh, and then, uh, you know, when, when in the Vincent game, we're playing. Uh, by, by the end of the game, we're playing everybody. Everybody on, on the everybody dressed got to play. So, uh, Coach Hale kept telling me if they if they get inside the 40, I'm I'm, I'm gonna put the ones back in. I'm like, I'm good with that. Let's let's keep the shutout. Let's you know, let's do what we have to do. But we didn't have to do that. You know, we. Uh, our young guys did a good job and, and um, took advantage of some playing time and uh, everybody executed and uh, you know the end result was 51 to zero. Talk about some of those kids that uh, maybe not get the playing time uh, that they will be getting later on but uh, a couple of those guys who played well the other night in relief role. Uh, we, we've got some young guys coming up that are going to be really good for us. Rayleigh on Sims and uh, Richard Weed uh, do a good job and uh, they they got some they got some touches Friday night and uh, Richard uh, had an opportunity and scored uh, he scored the final touchdown of the night and uh, man he's just he, he dodges in and out of traffic and, and finds finds ways to get to the end zone so uh, both of those guys were in, integral in uh, our our JV game this past Tuesday so uh, we go um, our, our JV small schools county championship game was us against Fayetteville. Uh, at Fayetteville, and it was a, a really good game. Uh, we were able to come out on top of it 12 to 10. So um, this is a, a second consecutive year since I've been here that we've won it. Um, so that's, that's good for our young guys. And, and seeing that, see, seeing the JV guys move up from, from three years ago to now, they're the ones that are, are part of the varsity now. So uh, seeing that pay off and seeing it kind of translate on the field on, on Friday nights is huge. Talk about uh, this BB Comer team. Only one loss mm -hmm. on the season. Uh, it'll, it'll be different tomorrow night with Randolph County coming to town. But BB Comer knows what's ahead of them. No doubt. <laughs> we, we've discussed all, all week the physicality that, that Randolph County brings and uh, kind of the intimidation factor. And uh, you know we're not going to be intimidated by that. We're not going to be. Uh, we're, we're not going to. Um, Kind of bow down to that intimidation. They they've got some big guys up front. Um, they're gonna they're gonna run right at you. They're gonna uh, you know they're gonna line up and, and come right right for you. Uh, they've got a couple of backs that can scoot. If they if they get some uh, open space, they're gonna hit a hole. So uh, you know we we know that it that it's going to be uh, the most physical test that we've had yet. And that's that's the big. That's my message to my guys all week is 
this is going to be the most physical battle you've had. We've got to be mentally and physically prepared for this. Uh, and, and we've told them that all week. We, we don't have to uh, we don't have to say, hey, this is a big game. This is the biggest game of the season. I don't have to harp on that. Our, our guys understand the, the situation with the game. They understand, hey, look, this, this means home playoffs versus uh, going on the road in the first round. Um, so, so they understand that. You know, they, they've got a full grip on what's going on. And, uh, you know, the, the key for us is, um, first, you've got to believe that you can win. Mm -hmm. And Randolph County is a team that was in our region the past two years and, and they dropped to 2A with us. We, we can't seem to get rid of them. But the very first year we go to Randolph County and they beat us pretty bad. Last year we play them at our place and we're down a couple points at halftime and have played them well. And um, one of the scores that they got before halftime was a kickoff return yeah. for a touchdown, which we've, we've discussed special teams as our Achilles heel <laughs> in the past. So, so we gave up some free points there. So. The guys that played last year, they, they know what Randolph County is. They know what they're all about, and and they know that um, they know that it's going to be a battle. There are games on a schedule for teams that you kind of circle when you look mm -hmm. at the schedule every year, and this has got to be one of them. No doubt, this this is one that as a coach, you, you want this one. You want uh, this even before the schedule, before the season started. You you know, I, I had no idea we would be sitting in the situation we're in, but that's, you know, this is one of those games that you circle and you're like, man, we, we can beat these guys and, and we haven't beaten them since I've been here. And, and that's a game that you want to, you want to capitalize on. And the excitement among BB Comer Tiger fans and mm -hmm. faculty and staff is uh, just topping off the chart. There's a lot of excitement yeah. there. No doubt. We, uh, last week was, was wild because uh, I can't remember the number of, of tickets, but but our sideline was was allotted X amount of tickets. They had to be bought online through through uh, GoFan or or whatever the the website is that Vincent used. And people were contacting me like on Thursday, how do we get tickets? I, so you gotta go on this on this website or get this app. I did. It says they're sold out. I like, well, I, you know, I can't do anything about that. Don't have any in your pocket, do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I can't do that. You know, I have no no access to that. So we get there, and and man, it's our our little sidelines were packed and uh, very very uh, supportive, very loud, very um, you know they're into the game, and that's that's what we've got to have. You know, we we've been pushing uh, on social media all week and, and to our our students and everything else. Uh, we got to have people there. You know, we, we can seat about 1,100 people. We need at least a thousand people there on our sideline, on our on our uh, in our stands, cheering these guys on because they feed off of that. They feed off the 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 noise in the stands, the the cowbells and the yelling and screaming. They feed off the band playing. So we, we need all that energy. We need that that energy to on our sideline to. Mm -hmm. To help push us through, you know, it's it's kind of like the twelfth man, so to speak. The expectation for this BB Comer Tiger team in 2020 has been one that a lot of people have talked about. Have they exceeded what you think they <laughs> could do, or or is this uh, uh, just what you expected? Uh, you know, numbers-wise, <laughs> as a as a coaching staff, we always, you know, what's our record going to be this year? And and behind closed doors, we'll kind of go around. And, uh, you know, I think this will be our record. I think this will be our record. And uh, you know, we we had some a couple coaches were were you know kind of hit the nail on the head where where we are. Um, so uh, for me, I I knew that these guys were special. I knew this this was going to be a special team. I just didn't know how special they were going to be. Um, and and going into all into the off season last year, I, I knew that this team was going to be special. And then we got hit with the pandemic in March, and we we lost we lost March through May. We lost spring football. Um, summer workouts were had to be a lot different and, than and what people, they were. And people people say, well, what's the big deal about that? It's a big deal. No, yeah, it's it's a huge deal. You know, we we had just done a we had just done a, a max session where we we get our numbers, our you know one rep max totals on uh, bench, hang, clean, and squat right before we got out. We were getting ready to start another another cycle of weights. And 
our numbers were were amazing. We we had we have we had guys pushing a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. We had guys that are getting big and and strong and faster, and that's that's what we needed. And then we go go on this hiatus, and our guys did a good job of trying to stay active, but it's not the same as being in that weight room with your team getting after it, you know. And um, so so that was a concern. Not having spring spring football was a concern. So. You didn't know what you were going to get, you know. We didn't we didn't get to do any seven on sevens this uh, this summer, and mm -hmm. and honestly, I, I think that's what has has really hampered us in the passing game was we didn't get to do those seven on sevens. So we've been able to get better week in and week out, and now all of a sudden we're able to throw the ball. So um, you know, I I hope you know I hope and I feel like we're we're peaking at the right time. Uh, I feel like we're we've had a great week of practice and and preparation and our guys are ready to go you know it's it's one of those things where as, as a team as a coaching staff and as a a, a team we're all kind of hey hurry up and get here mm -hmm. you know friday let's play today type mentality but you know we also know we, we've got to use these days to prepare but we're, we're ready for friday night what about uh tickets uh they buy them at the gate or yeah, how so does it work okay. yeah everything's at the gate so uh visiting in and home uh, fans will buy tickets at the gate. Uh, we're not doing GoFan or anything like that. We <clears throat> we feel like we have enough uh, seating capacity. I know the visitor uh, visitor size is like 450, and then the home size is 1100. So uh, if we have if we have problems with with attendance on that, then that, that's a good problem to have. But uh, everything's at the gate. Gates open at 5:30, and uh, we'll be ready to go at seven. Final note with Coach Adam Fawcett, the head football coach and athletic director at B.B. Comer. You talked about the JV uh, County Championship uh, that was played Tuesday night. and Some of those kids are going to be playing with a varsity if some aren't playing already. Yeah, yeah. Some of those guys will, will be, uh, they've been dressing with us. But, uh, you know, so now that their season's over, there's some guys that we'll, pu we'll plug in and, and see, especially on special teams, you know, uh, being able to free up some people uh, that are on the field all the time. Uh, if we can trust you and and feel like we can use you on special teams, we'll throw you in there. And, uh, you know, I tell our guys, you know, you're, you're a turned ankle away from having to be in the game. So uh, you've got to know what's going on. You've got to pay attention and be ready to go. B.B. Calmer hosting Randolph County, 7 o'clock kick at Legion Stadium tomorrow night. It's a huge region matchup for both these schools. And, uh, Coach, we wish the Tigers the best of luck. Yes, sir. Thank you. More Daybreak coming up right after this. The Adam Fawcett Show brought to you by the B.B. Calmer Booster Club. Back at you.